In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the beginning of a week for a given date. Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha, where you can find tips and tutorials on productivity tools. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the bell icon to stay updated. Let's say we want to find the beginning of the week for any given day. So for a date that I type in the cell C3, I would like to know the beginning of the week for this date. In my case, the week begins on Monday. Instead of directly showing you the formula, I would like to explain to you how I built this formula. In the column F, let's start by putting in the dates for that week. So let me start with the date which is a Sunday and then just go one date behind and let me just drag it down. So this is a complete week of data where I know the 20th is a Sunday and 14th is Monday. The main function we are going to use in a formula is weekday. So let me first find the weekday for each of these dates. So in the cell G6, we are going to type in the formula weekday of the serial number. In our case, it's going to be cell F6. And the option, we are going to choose number 2 because our week starts from Monday. And just close the brackets. And this shows that this is number 7, which indicates a Sunday. We can just double click at the right corner of the cell and you will get the weekday for each of this date in this week. Now let's calculate the column H manually. So we know that 14 June 21 is a Monday, which is 0 days after Monday. And the next day, which is 15 June, is 1 day, 2 day and so on and so forth. Looking at this, we see a pattern in the weekday and the number of days it's away from Monday. So you can see that it's always one less than the weekday. So this is how we can build our formula. So let's go to cell C5 and then type in a formula where we take in the cell C3 first and subtract it with the weekday associated to the date we've entered in cell C3. Again, we need to choose the option 2 because our week begins on Monday. And now this would give us the column G. To that, we need to add one day because the weekday minus one is going to be the number of days away from Monday. And since we are already subtracting the weekday, we now need to add one. Voila, there you get the Monday as 14, 6, 21. And now even if I change this date, let's say to 18, June 21, which basically is a Friday, the Monday is still going to be on 14 June. Calculating start of the week can be really useful for reporting. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Till next time, ciao.